Hey Terrifics, I'm Allison Dean. This is Be Terrific. Right now, I am in the Kodak 360 body scan. I don't know what's about to happen to me, but I'm super excited. Joe's gonna tell all of you a little bit more about what it is I'm about to do. Yeah, so um, our scanning system is an instantaneous capture. Within a quarter second time frame, you get scanned in uh, um, 360 degrees. We take 178 photos, and that data is created into a 3D model, which can later be turned into 3D print. So the process is really quick, and we're going to scan right now. How long does it take? Just a quarter second, just like snapping your fingers. A quarter second. All right, well, I guess I'll get into position, and we'll be ready to go. And I'm going to have to turn around, you guys, so apologies for my back. But I guess I'll get into position, and we'll get this going. Okay, I'm facing forward. What face should I make? <laughs> tell me when. Tell me when. I don't know. No, it's fine. We'll keep the mic for... <laughs> How was it? I think that was it. How did I do? Was it good? It looks pretty awesome. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm like, what's this body scan going to be? <laughs> All right. So we're just going to process those. And, and it'll be ready in a GIF. Yep. All right, so we'll go look at some drones then. Hi, Hi, Paula. I'm Allison Dean from Be Terrific, from and we're terrific. live right now on air. Right. Awesome. Thank yeah. You for coming to our Kodak booth. Awesome. Yeah, we're actually really excited. excited to be here as I am. Yeah. Well, that's I'm also one. I'm also all excited right. that it's day four. Oh, 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 well, that's all true for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, can you tell you a little bit about what's exciting in the Kodak booth? We've got sure. lots of cool stuff going on. Okay. You already went into the Kodak 3D full body scanner. Yeah. Are you going to get your little figurine? I Talk think about memorializing I, a moment. I think so. Okay. I, I mean, I hope I'm getting everything. Yeah. Well, that's what you got to order it as long as you got to scan. Okay. Codex all about your life, right? So, what touches your life? What image does it was? What moment does it cause? And how creative can you be about it? So, one of the cool things that we're announcing at CES this week is a racing drone that is powered by Thrust UAV, which is the company that I'm going to let Joe talk to you a little bit about. Okay, Joe. Hold on. I need a mic, you, Joe. I need to get a mic near you. Oh, there's another Joe. How are you today? I'm very good, Joe. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. We probably have a pole in our way. Oh, we might have a pole in our way. <laughs> but he's also a magic cameraman, so, you know, maybe he made it disappear. All right, tell us about these. This is a new 250-millimeter new race drone um, powered by Thrust UAV. It's a full carbon fiber frame with polycarbonate skirts. It's zero to nearly 100 miles an hour in about a second. Zero to 100, wow, in about a second. Yeah, it's amazing. it's really amazing. Quicker than you can move your head. Can you show them the bottom of it? Because I, I like that it said riot. <laughs> Why does it say riot on the bottom? Because it's a riot to fly. It's a riot to fly, of course. That makes perfect sense. All right, and so how does one acquire something like this? Um, Thrust UAV website, New Egg, and we'll have a few other retailers coming out since uh, we're a new licensee with Kodak. Thrustav.com. Right. Yep, thrust-uav.com. Okay, and do we know, like, what's the price point on something like this? About $450. Rad. All right, so how, how often have you been racing these things? Um, we've been racing these things for about six months now. Okay. Um, the company has been around for about five years. We've been building drones for about five years. When they started, how fast did they go? Um, the, you know, none of this technology, all this technology 18 months ago was twice as big. So, you know, about, about half as fast. So you're really excited now? Yeah, the, the technology is taking off so fast and getting so miniature, it's, it's amazing. It is amazing. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. I think there's probably someone else Paula wants me to talk to some great since video this is a... If you want to see oh. flying FPV. Oh, sure. Let's this go over what, there. This is what the pilot sees. All right. Let's, let's go check that out. Oh, wow. This is what the pilot sees here. Oh, that's amazing. Check that out, everyone. We're, we're, wow, that's super fast. Okay, wait, so tell, tell the audience, what are we looking at right now? So what you're looking at is you're looking at a race that took place at Goodwood Festival of Speed in England this last year. Um, this is another race that took um, place in uh, the uh, convention hall in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Did we do one uh, here at CES anywhere? No, not yet. It, you know, they're a little dangerous to fly, so there's a few too many people here. You have to have kind of a, a clear space. I just meant like before the show started. No, we've, we didn't do it. We've flown a little bit. Okay, okay. Sorry I was like... You, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't want you to get in trouble, Joe. I don't want you to get in trouble. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Very much. No hands. No hands. Oh, Paula. Paula, Paula the maestro. Let's go see some stuff. What else is there, Paula? Now we're going to talk about, you know, where Tom just went. Where did he go? 
So, so, so can, okay, can you go get them for me? Uh, we need to talk about some stuff, Pedro. It's time for Tom. So it's time for Tom. Now, the next thing is about um, we are interested. We have two cameras that are instant print. Okay. So believe it or not, people want to see a print now. So what you have is a camera that will produce a two by three print okay. right instantly. Awesome. And I'm going to let Tom Morgan, Hello. the person who represents these programs, tell you a quick note about them. Thank you, Paula. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm Hi. Allison from Be Terrific. Hi. And nice our, to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Tell us all about this. So this is our um, this is the uh, Kodak Printomatic Instant Print Camera. It's a combination of uh, digital and analog technology. Inside this camera, we've got a 10 megapixel capture array that uh, we are capturing the image digitally. If you've got an SD card, we're also storing it on the card itself. So we're capturing the image digitally. We're uh, we're we're printing it out right away. So it's a uh, point, shoot, print, and uh, so it, uh, the, the image comes out right out of the camera about 20 seconds after you've taken it. How many, uh, so do you load in the film like one by one for the print, or it stores how many how many prints can you do? Yeah, so you can do, it stores 10 sheets of paper all, all at one time. Yeah, okay, and the uh, we sell the paper in, in packs of uh, uh, 50 or 20, about 50 cents a sheet, so it's very affordable. Uh, this is a uh, low, low cost uh, print, uh, uh, instant print camera about sixty nine dollars, so it's very inexpensive, uh, very good for younger audiences and great for weddings. Oh, uh, wonderful for weddings. Great for any event. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, where you wanna, great for CES? Yeah, where you where you want to capture and sh show, uh, sh uh, share your images right away. Yeah, it's very cool. I, I think I have friends that would eat this up for weddings because you know it's basically like you put one on every table. They're taking photos of the evening. You got loads and loads of photos for a photo album, like instantly from the evening, right? Uh, absolutely, it's very social. You're you're taking the snap and you're it's coming out. You're, people are laughing. They're enjoying it. They're sharing it. They're passing them around. It's it, it, yes, it's very social. Very very cool, uh, very very new. The, the uh, it's kind of a you know certainly a uh, kind of a retro style kind oh, of yeah. uh, Check uh, it out. picture. Look at, all, look at all these photos that we yeah. That we've got going on from CES yeah, so already. Bunch, Tons. Bunch of these. Um, yeah, it's uh, great. People come up. They they love to see the uh, the new instant print camera. Uh, you know, they're thrilled. They oh, can you take a snap of me? And they just love it. You know, so I I, I line them up. I get them ready. I take a snap, and they're just. I should take one right now. You, you absolutely hey Brian. Can. Hey Brian. Let's take a let's take an insta snap. This is like you know this is the time to do it. We're at Kodak, Absolutely. and we need to take a photo. Yep. He's gonna take it. Here we go. Here we time go. for a photo. Yep. All right. One two. One, two, buckle my shoe. Sweet. Yeah. Here we go. All right, great. That was fast. Now, so, is there any? Are there any plans for a camera like this to, I don't know, beam to social media at some point so you can share it with all your friends digitally as well? So we have. Um, this is not the only instant print camera that we have. We have other models that are um, have additional features and functionality. This is kind of our our basic model. It doesn't have lots of frills, but that's how we keep the yeah. uh, cost inexpensive. I mean, we've got other uh, instant print cameras that allow you to uh, take images right from your uh, camera. They also, there's apps that you can load on your mobile phone that allow you to um, simultaneously print out the image, but also send the uh, digital copy right to your right to your mobile phone, so then you can share to social media right away. Um, this, as I said, I mean, this, um, this this device also has an SD card, so you can, I know, yeah. So if you're at the wedding and you're passing the camera around and you're um, taking snaps, um, you can you can come back, you know, hours later or the next day and say, oh goodness, well, what did I capture on my phone? I was like, oh, and I didn't do that. So so there's a digital record of what you actually did. So that's pretty cool about that part of it too. So. Um, and, uh, awesome! I think I think I want one of these. Yeah, here's our snap. It's, it's, it's coming out, guys. How does it look? All right. Oh, um, this is gonna be a good one. I can feel it. Well, a I'm pretty excited. Us, but, uh, you, but, um, That's you okay. Know. That creates the mood. Yeah, Sometimes you need a little of that, Tom. Very retro, uh, we need to be authentic to, to CES 2018. Oh, look at how cute that is. We just printed it. It's like I I'm in real time here. Excellent. Can we see that? Look at that. Money shot. Oh. Now we can see it. Yes, cool. it's a beaut. She's a beaut. She, I feel like, do I leave it and I'll take a photo of it later or do no, I take no, it with no, me? Take it with you. Oh, that, that's all right. All Thank right. You so Thanks, Tom. Allison was great. Thank all you right. So much. Do we have time for anything else or are we being told we have to wrap it up? No, we have time for one more. What do we have time for? One more. Paulo, we have time for one more. What, what's it going to be? I'm going to bring you over to a 3D printer instead.
A 3D printer. We have lots of cameras. I know. We have 360 camera. I, How do, is that cool? That's way cool. Way cool, but you don't have time. So I'm going to take you over to another area of technology for I'm us. I'm so happy we met Paula, yes, the woman to make some stuff happen. I am making it happen for you. So here, over here, here we're going to talk about real quickly is a new 3D printer. I like 3D printer. Enterprise applications okay. so that you can not now live in your 2D world, you can live in a 3D world. Amazing. Roberto. Hi. I'm Allison. Nice to see you. Okay, Hi. tell us about this 3D printer. Well, this is a dual nozzle, dual extruders. Okay. Uh, tilting nozzles, so okay. uh, one retries when the other is uh, tilting, printing. Tilting, tilting nozzles. nozzles, yes. Yes. Uh, 8 by 8 by 10 uh -huh. uh, is the. It's not so, I mean, it's like a good size. It's a good, it's like it's a, a, a reasonable a, size. Like a microwave size almost. Yeah. It's uh, for schools, for teachers, for, uh, for workplaces. Uh, mainly for uh, so, education, okay. professionals, yep. prototyping. Yep. It's totally enclosed, yep. and it has a very safety system for, especially for te for kids uh -huh. in schools, uh, because it, it also has a filter. It has a filter. Okay. Uh, I'm not that tall. Sadly, I'm not that tall. Okay. Uh, eliminates humes. Okay. Uh, and well, a lot of other features that I don't know. If There's tons of features in this guy. Okay. What it, What is it making right now? What are we printing now? We're printing like a triangular shape base. A triangular like a shape pyramid. base. Like, I don't know. A pyramid. A pyramid. All right. The Oh, so so th this has made all these things. Oh wow! So this this machine has made this amount of. How have all these things been created at our time at CES 2018? Before. Okay. Okay. And this was created in there. This is for a child that has. That's amazing. His hand. It's for a child that lost his hand. That's incredible. So, and do we? Is this on the market currently? 2018. Sometime in 2018, this will be available. In March, March is going to be available. Roberto, March of 2018. All right, amazing. We're at Kodak. Check out if you're if you're interested in any of these products, Kodak.com for more information. I gotta go run over and check okay. out my 3D 3D print. I think because I'm pretty excited to see that. Uh, I'm Allison. This is Be Terrific, and we'll see you real soon. South Hall, day four. It's all coming to a close, but still a lot of action. See you soon.